Okay, in this segment we're going to talk about interior detailing. I go ahead and start with the door of the car and then I move to the inside. Uh, get the door jam, this area right here. And I uh, always carry a towel with me and brushes. I start with just wiping off the dust with a, uh, again, a microfiber towel is the best thing. It doesn't leave any dust of its own or any a lint of its own. If an area is soiled, I'll go ahead and use a sponge with a little soap, clean it. If it's just lightly dusty, I just take a paintbrush, dry, specifically for this. I've gone ahead and used tape to go ahead and bind the top where the bristles meet the uh, top of the brush. There's metal right here and we, we don't want to scratch anything. So I've gone ahead and taped it. Use these for the small areas, the little cracks, the crevices. I always follow with the vacuum. That way the dust goes out of the car. Once the door is done, move to the jam. Then I vacuum the floor. Then I move on to the dashboard. Dashboards you have to be pretty careful. You don't want to scratch it. And a lot of the uh, a lot of the instrumentation can be scratched with the bristles if you're not careful, depending on the texture of the surface. Textured surfaces you don't have to worry about too much, but the real shiny surfaces, even a very fine bristle brush can scratch them. So I'm very careful on how I use these brushes. But when I don't have to worry about scratching, I just simply use the brush to remove the dust, following with the vacuum cleaner. I have a variety of different sizes to accommodate different size dashboards. The surfaces of these gauges, I, I do not use the brush, those are scratch. Okay, after you've done vacuuming the car, the floor and the dashboard with the brush and the vacuum head, any parts that are soiled, I go, yet, go ahead and use a sponge. It's just got a little bit of the same soap that I'm using to wash the exterior of the car. It's very gentle. It's just a, a car wash soap that's balanced pH, so you don't have to worry about it making any marks or drying too quickly and uh, leaving a residue. All the control areas, the steering wheel, the turn signals, the light switch, you can use moisture on those, but be very careful about how much. So I just lightly dampen the sponge. Wipe it off with the sponge and then go, go back immediately with a dry towel and dry them off. And then finally I use compressed air to blow it completely dry.